Uh, so we're going to talk about how much room for memory. And this one, uh, also like the Drake equation, I thought was a very funny play. Uh, you have the Adam Silver and Elden characters. <laughs> Even more than the gay characters in the Drake equation, I thought were endlessly amusing. Uh, Danny, like he did in the other Big Four Quartet, goes to Adam and Elden for information, mostly to talk to Adam because, well, he's uh, not exactly a bright kid. He's nothing compared to Elden. Uh, and uh, you, you guys send him into the corner, or Adam does. He's, uh, there's also abuse in the relationship, which even Danny is trying to get Adam to stop hitting Elden uh, throughout the entirety of the play. Uh, there's also a wonderful scene where you're talking about your plan to get Kathy, mm -hmm. and Elden <laughs> just maps out the entire scene out of nowhere. He's shown himself to be borderline retarded throughout the entirety of these three plays, and he's able to perfectly go from step one to step three about how you'll get this girl, and you say, it's kind of scary how you've done that. You're sort of a dumb shit, and you just came out with this. So talk about that aspect. I also like the Kathy Bertoli character. You have uh, a motif of, uh, I think you draw from this uh, cartoon show, you call it the Bugs Bunny show, but as a yeah. kid, I remember it as the Bugs Bunny and Tweety show, yeah. uh, where they have the classic song, this is it, and overture, curtain lights, yeah. uh, and they play that in the beginning, and I think they just basically sing Valley Bertinelli's name in these scenes that interrupt mm. the drama. Well, yeah, uh, they don't they don't sing the Bugs Bunny song because that would be copyrighted. But they, it would be something similar about Valerie Bertinelli and the the director and the and the actors could work that out. This is another example where I try to give over to the uh, creative element right there on the stage. And uh, you mentioned Valerie Bertinelli, so you'll have these people thinking Valerie Bertinelli or whatever. Uh, <laughs> And this, whenever her name is mentioned, it, it's uh, the play stops and we hear Valerie Bertinelli, you know, and this goes back to the very first play where Valerie Vivello was based upon Valerie Bertinelli, you know, just like Megan Morrow is based upon Megan Follows. Um, and that's because the Kathy Bertoli character, uh, as, as shown in the play, uh, somewhat resembles Valerie Bertinelli, although Danny says she's not as cute, but she's sexier. Um, and... But to get to, to, so anyway, the play is about Danny's pursuit of her, just like we had the play where he pursued the Charlotte girl, uh, and then he pursued the gorgeous black girl, Fran, and now he's pursuing this girl, Kathy. 